He's a prince, a Bollywood prince. He's the fourth generation of India's grand cinema dynasty and a virtual powerhouse of talent. Most eligible, most loved. Ranbir Kapoor, you are India's most desirable. I have to tell you one more thing. Ranbir is the 10th Kapoor I'm sharing screen space with. So it's a record and I'm delighted. Renby, thank you so much for being on my list and being on my show. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Simiji. It's really uh, an honor for me to be on your show. You've been a big part of my family's contribution in films. Uh, my father debuted with you in Mera Naam Joker. But thank you so much. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, it's really an honor to be on your show. Thank you so much. You know, I have to tell you that Simi Selects India's Most Desirable is a very different show to any other. It's where we explore various facets of Renby that make him India's object of desire. I mean, the charm and the sex appeal is a given. But we also want to experience firsthand his humor, his honesty, his playfulness, and of course, the romance. I mean, what's life without it? So in fact, the whole package that goes into making a man most desirable. <laughs> but you know, I have to uh, admit, you know, when the first time we met, I didn't think that you'd be on my most desirable list. Oh, oh okay. Can you remember uh, where we first met? Was I really little? White. Uh, was it at, on the sets of Curse? No. At RK Studio? I'm getting very hurt now. He doesn't no, remember no, no, when please. he first met me. <laughs> please, I'm dying to know when, when was okay, this. Okay, then I'll just have to show it. <laughs> well, you this have it, well. <laughs> That's Ranbir with his grandfather Raj Kapoor. <laughs> Tell me what comes to mind when you when you see something like this. You know, for many people, Raj Kapoor is this enigma. You know, he was called the showman uh, as an actor, as a director. But to me, he was my grandfather. You know, through your documentary that you made uh, about him. Uh, you know, through his movies, I've got to know him better now. You know, I was really young when he passed away. I feel responsible that, you know, I have to carry uh, a, a legacy forward. And I think I'm ambitious enough to actually take it 100 miles ahead. Which film would you like to show Raj Kapoor? I think I would show him my first film, Savarya. I would also like to show him Ajab Prem and Rajneeti. Well, if I, if I can hold him for that long, uh, you can. I can, then I would show him all my movies. You know, De Niro, such a fine actor. Right. He says, Acting is hiding. Absolutely, really, I agree. Are you like that? Uh, well, uh, I'm a bit of an introvert. I find it really hard to even, uh, you know, uh, speak about anything. If I'm going through something, if I have a problem, if, uh, you know, if I have an issue with something uh, and something is bothering in my life, I find it really uncomfortable to actually speak. So you lock it up inside? I try to lock it up, I try to bottle it up. I know one day it's just going to explode. Uh, but so far, it, that's, that's just a part of my personality. I feel that whatever I have to say, whatever I have to Express. Express. I will express it through my movies. Ranbi, you know, there's never a dull day these days without your personal life in the media. How do you feel about it? Uh, what do you feel about the Ranbir Kapoor you read about? I don't want to portray myself as the best guy out there. You know, I have my flaws and I don't blame the media for, uh, for only mm -hmm. false reporting. And the honest truth is, you know, I'm 28 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, but when I did have, I was really open about it. I also believe that I'm an actor. If people like me, they will like me because of the work I do, because of the films that I do. But if you judge me by what you read in the papers, if you judge me by who I had dinner with last night, I think that's really unfair. But I still want to understand one thing. Why? I mean, there are a lot of people, everybody's having affairs, everybody's partying. Why is it that this image is being created about you? You know, most of our actors are married or they're in a committed relationship. Uh, so it's, I'm the no, only one left out. <laughs> uh, so, uh, no, it's, left out. It's, well, it's, I suppose you have this romantic aura around you, that's why. I don't know, you know, it's the new Bakra in town. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sonam? They, they've always written about you and Sonam. Was there any truth to it? Not at all. You know, Sonam, I've grown up with Sonam, you know. Mm. We did our first movie together. Uh, I think it all also started by this one uh, episode on, uh, on television, uh, uh, a talk show. Yeah. Uh, you know, where Deepika and Sonam appeared and, and they spoke about me. Uh, I remember when I saw it, I saw it a day before it was aired. Mm. And my first reaction was, why? Uh, but then, you know, I, I take it as, you know, it's just good humor. Uh, these are the people I work with. I understand uh, um, in what sense they were speaking. What uh, sense were they speaking? You know, honestly, I was there. 
uh, the day uh, they were shooting this episode, I of course was in the in my trailer van. And after they finished the the episode, both of them came to my trailer van, and they were really sweet to me, and they were talking to me. But you didn't know what they said. I, I wasn't about aware you. what what was happening back then. Uh, but I think after the episode was aired, uh, there was a lot of uh, hoopla around me about this episode. Mm. Uh, I didn't really take it, you know, that negatively. I wasn't that hurt. You, uh, you know, I still uh, respect Deepika a lot. I had a beautiful relationship with her. Uh, she has some angst against me. Uh, I think it would be, uh, it would have been uh, uh, more graceful of her if she could pick up the phone and speak to me about it rather than speak, uh, you know, on a, on a public platform. Uh, she didn't do that. Uh, but still, you know, I still respect her. I still wish her all the best in her life. Uh, Sonam, I have no idea, you know, why she said the things she did. Uh, but it's fine, you know. I mean, if people want to uh, uh, make fun of me, uh, if people want to uh, ridicule me in some way or the other, it's it's uh, it's their life. I can't really. Uh, stand up and contradict everything people say about me. Okay. I just want to ask you for the record, what is the current status of your love life? Well, I'm absolutely single. Uh, I'm not looking for love. Uh, I, I believe that it will, will come with time. Uh, I do want to have a family really soon. I want to get married. I want to be in love. I want to love one person. I want to make that person happy. And, and I want to have a lovely life with that person. Mm. Uh, but. I, I do this image that that suddenly I have of this Casanova and yeah. and this this heartbreaker. Uh, heartbreaker is 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 a bit contradictory to actually how I saw my life and how I you know would want to live my life. So I hope that with time I meet that right person. But you're not looking, you said. I'm not. I think it's something that you cannot look for. You know, it just happens. No, but you have to be in the right frame of mind as well. Well, I'm in the right frame of mind all the time. You know, it could happen at any time. It's not that I've closed it, but I'm not particularly looking that okay, I'm lonely now. Uh, you know, I need somebody in my life. Single life is great too. Uh, you know, you you you. Which get is better? Being in love. There's nothing like being nothing in love. Nothing like. Being Absolutely. So, how many times have you been properly in love? Uh, you know, Simiji, I feel uh, every time I've been in three relationships in my life. I was. I would like to believe that I was in love. I would like to believe that uh, the girl was in love with me, and I would like to believe that we were the best lovers in the world. Yes. Uh, but I think with each relationship, with each growing year. You kind of realize that it's much more than uh, you know writing cards to each other and and holding hands and it's it's about compatibility it's about friendship it's about uh, really finding a, a deep connect uh, uh, and I always believe you know that too many mediocre things in life love should not be you know love should be spectacular or it's not love. But have you ever been through that insecurity which most guys go through? You know, waiting for the phone to ring and. Absolutely, I mean, the first relationship I was in. Uh, it took me a month to even call her up and speak to her on the phone. I used to make a friend of mine call her up. I used to be on conference and I used to hear her voice and, and talk. Uh, you know, it took me, I think, uh, six months just to kind of hold her hand. I mean, it's always fun to really, you know, woo a girl. I think that chases is really important. Uh, you know, it's, 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 that, it's that extra heartbeat when you send a message and, oh, you know, what is she going to reply and what is she going to think. What is uh, romance for you? What is romance for me? Uh, tell me a nice, a romantic encounter. Uh, well, I'm really embarrassed uh, by it because I think, uh, uh, I wouldn't name names because I think that would be a little unfair. Okay. Uh, but I remember I was having a toothache. Uh, uh, it was like late at night and um, I was on a flight or something. Uh, and uh, it was really unbearable. Uh, so she kind of put her hand here and, and, you know, like for four or five hours didn't remove it. She just uh, held it there. She just, just held it there. And I thought that was really romantic. But tell me, wait, what, what attracts you to a woman? What do you think is, is the sexiest quality in a woman? I mean, I don't really have any preconceived notions. I, I don't believe that, you know, she has to be in a particular way or have a type. Mm -hmm. You could be dating someone, but patte to shadi ke baad hi khulte hain. You know, <laughs> before that, it's, <laughs> it's, it's so blind chal hoti hai. But one is always attracted to some quality that appeals to you in a woman. I think, uh, I mean, I'm really embarrassed to say this, but uh, since you're asking, I think lips. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uh, attracted to lips. Oh, that's, that's really lovely. Yeah. Okay, tell me, who would you say today in the industry is the new symbol of elegance? New symbol of elegance? Uh, well, you still hold court, but if I uh, had to name somebody else, uh, I would say, um, I think Madhuri Dixit. Yeah, okay. One more thing, Ranvi. Would an ordinary girl you meet ever have a chance with you? Absolutely. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's unfair. Uh, uh, that you asked me this question because it could happen with anyone, right? You could be, you know, you could spot somebody at a signal, uh, yes. you know, at a restaurant. Airport. Uh, 
airport anywhere. Uh, you can't really plan it. In it's, my audience. Yes. <laughs> so it could, it, it could happen anytime. I saw a guy laughing the loudest. <laughs> Let's say you, you see a girl at a signal and you like her. You like something about her. It's a look that attracts you. What would Ranbir do next? I probably would not do anything because I'm really shy and I, I did. Like, I, I, it's, it's very hard for me to go approach a woman and start a conversation. I start stammering, you know, my knees start shaking. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I leave it to fate. You know, if so it's you, meant to be... So, you will disappear from your life forever? She will, but uh, if, if it was meant to be, I would meet her again. You and can't leave it up to fate, come on. I know, I, I know, but uh, again, it's like a personality problem. It's just my introvert nature. But it'll be a ship passing in the night. I, I think gay. But uh, I, I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, so then the girls out there do have a chance. Of course. I hope I have a chance. How sweet that is. So anyone out there hoping to get to first base with Ranbir, you should know this. You will first have to get past Ranbir's screening committee, his parents. You have an appointment with them after this break, so be on time. He had just one girlfriend, that's Deepika. I think maybe there was something missing in their relationship and he needed to break off. Renault Fluons presents Semi Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Renault Fluons presents Semi Selects India's Most Desirable, co presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. You know, I just had an epiphany, or call it sixth sense. You know, I have a strong feeling that Ranbir's future wife is somewhere watching this show. Woohoo! <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Do you think we should give her a preview of her future in laws? Yeah! Let me present first Ranbir's dad, Rishi Kapoor, legendary star actor. Ranbir's mom, Neetu Kapoor, actor, stylish homemaker, and pillar of strength and support. So, who would be the easier one to get around? My father. I think my mother is really protective about me. I, I feel she loves me the most in this world, and she is the center of my universe. So, uh, the connection that I have with my mother, I don't think I have the same with my father. I have a lot of respect, a lot of admiration uh, for my father. Well, I asked him about, uh, you know, your relationship. So, this is what he said. See, Rambi, for me, as far as I'm concerned, you know, he's always very reserved. He used to be, uh, you know, a shy chap and, you know, wouldn't say much, would keep quiet. Like, even till today, he talks to his father with his eyes on the floor. And I tell Rambi, I said, you're 28, look, Look in his eyes and talk. He just doesn't look in his eyes, he looks on the ground. And he's, he'll, he'll talk so softly, and he, his voice is so soft. I have to repeat it to my husband what he's saying, because he's so soft. If you're always looking down when you talk to him, I can't imagine you having guy talks. We don't have guy talks, uh, but it's changing now. You know, I'm, I'm trying to have a more friendlier rapport with him. Your dad was very flamboyant and stylish in his dating. Well, I've heard some stories, you but have? yeah. <laughs> Like how? Uh, well, I, I, I have to face him when I go home, so I will not speak about it. Okay, you don't have to tell me. I could tell you some stories. Please do. But then I won't either, because I have to face him as a friend. So I won't do that. But I did ask uh, him how you compare. Well, I know I, I did it just one girl at a time and for or forever. <laughs> what lies? He's a liar. He's dated so many girls. Well, I'm sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand. Uh, my husband is more brash and he was more um, loud and he was real brattish. Ranbir is a very um, soft person. Tell me truly, are you a mama's boy? Yes, I am. He is a mama's boy because I am very close to him. He kind of cares for me. He's never hurt me. He's never gone against me. So, I mean, whatever I say, he, he just never says no. 
Well, Mama adores him, he adores his Mama, but I don't think he says and shares everything with his Mama. There must be few things that he keeps to himself, but surely doesn't tell me. He does tell me about his girlfriends at times, but he used to tell me more when he was a kid. If there are any girls thinking that he's sharing secrets of his with you guys, I don't know anything about you guys. <laughs> He doesn't know anything about you guys. That means all he's doing is reading it all in the media. Right. <laughs> Am I right? I've been really honest with my parents, especially with my mom. So have you ever brought your girlfriends home to meet them? Absolutely. Uh, you have? Yes. And, you know, I remember uh, when I was young, my mother used to uh, uh, ask me, you know, do you want to gift her something? I'll gift wrap something. If, you know, you want to take her flowers, you want to take a box of chocolates. That's sweet. So, uh, you know, she's been my uh, partner in crime. <laughs> he hasn't brought his girlfriends as yet. I think when he'll be ready, He'll um, come and introduce me to his girlfriends. He has bought a girlfriend home. And uh, I guess uh, we live in a two-tier uh, home. He lives on this floor and I live on the lower floor. So we don't know really what's happening. <laughs> I guess right now is the right age to date. You girls, you should be dating him here. What the hell? You don't have to become serious. You don't get a girlfriend and say, OK, that's it. I mean, you got to look for one who's going to be your soulmate for forever. You got to, you know, Interact, you've got to know each other. That's right, you know, you just have to. But tell me something, would you, you're, obviously you would require your parents' approval. Absolutely, absolutely. If, and I don't believe that they will, but they, if, if they ever uh, uh, rejected my choice, uh, it's not that I would give up on, if I was in love with somebody, I would give that up. I would make sure that, you know, I, I would understand the problem. I would understand what's really conflicting in their mind against uh, this woman. And I would try and, you know, bridge that gap. I would try and make things okay. Yeah, if I felt that the girl is not nice, I would just say in my own way, but I would not say, don't get married or don't have this girlfriend. Then it's up to him, whatever he wants to do. But I will definitely voice my opinion, definitely. Ranbir's got his head on his shoulders. I don't think he'd go astray. You don't think he would uh, uh, just settle out with anybody. He is, uh, he's quite shrewd, quite smart. I don't understand this. Mom says you're soft, Dad says you're shrewd and smart. Who's right? Well, I'm soft, shrewd and smart. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm all of it. <laughs> so what would your ex-girlfriend say? Are his mom right or his dad right? I think moms are always right. So it's soft? Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't think he's had many girlfriends. He's had just one girlfriend, that's Deepika. I think maybe there was something missing in their relationship. There was something not there. And uh, maybe he was not himself. And he needed to break off. Everybody has relationships and they move on. If, if it was perfect, they wouldn't break up. And me falling in love is very easy, but getting out of it, it's always a problem, isn't it? It is. So, is there a good way of breaking up? Or? No, I mean, there is no... I mean, it's, it's, not a, it's not a happy emotion. You know, yes, you do feel a sense of, of vacuum inside. Uh, you know, life changes. Uh, you know, you spend so much of quality time with somebody, you know, speaking to somebody, and suddenly that person's not there. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think, thankfully, uh, I, I still speak to them. You know, they are still my friends. Uh, there is no negativity. There is no sense of, of, um, uh, of bitterness. From your that, side? That I share with. From your side? From my side, yes. Also from the other side? You know, like I said earlier, uh, to my face, no. I don't know what it is behind. Pradbir is too, uh, you know, basically, he's too soft a person. He can't confront a girl that, why did you do this? He kind of moves away from a situation. He, he can't hurt people. And nowadays, you know, girls are all... They, they don't care, you know, so... He can't say no, he gets involved and then he can't get out of it. I think my mom's speaking too much, but no... This, but it's no, a... it's an interesting point. It, it reveals you can't confront a girl and moves away. Because he doesn't want to have a fight, he doesn't want to have a scene. So, Ranbir, do you never voice your feelings? If you feel that it's not happening, do you ever tell her, look, I don't like this about you, or this is not happening? Well, I think, uh, I think it comes out after bottling up a lot. And then after suddenly, taking too yes, much? Yes, and then it kind of comes out. But then it bursts out. But, you know, honestly, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't want to sound like the victim out here. You know, I've, it's not that I have, I have been, uh, you know, they have wronged me. Uh, uh, I must have wronged them more than they've wronged me. I just have a problem saying no. Uh, I feel that uh, uh, there are better ways to disguise that word. I think that word no uh, hurts people. Uh, but eventually it does come up because it, it can't be hidden. So how do you move away? You don't just move away, you know, even if, even if uh, you know, if you say that I want to break up with you. Uh, it's not that that person is cut off from my life. But before, when you start a relationship, do you, make, uh, do you make certain ground rules? Do you explain to, uh, to the girl that, look, 
No. There are no ground rules in love. You can't really put any parameters and boundaries to. So you never need to tell the person that, look, at this moment, I'm not ready for a really long-term relationship. I'm not really ready for a complete commitment. You, would you know, I think uh, if you're in a relationship, it's a commitment itself. Uh, you know, uh, you don't have to be married to be committed to a person. If you're seeing somebody, you're responsible towards that person's feeling. You're answerable to that person. I'm not a commitment phobe as, as, as I'm painted out to be. Uh, I, would, I would be with that woman. I would be in love with that woman all my life if I'm in love with her and, and, and if, if the relationship works. Uh, sometimes a relationship doesn't work. Yes, then? You have to talk it through. And, and you do talk it you, through. Absolutely, that's very important. I got the impression that, that you didn't and they were taken like by surprise. No. Not true, no? Absolutely not. Is there anything that you would, you feel you should change in, in dealing with relationships? Yeah, of course. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm not perfect at all. I have 100 flaws and, and, it's, uh, and I would like to believe that I've always uh, been the wrong one. Uh, even though I didn't, in, you know, try and intentionally hurt the other person, uh, but uh, it's, li it's it's life. You know, you you learn with each experience, and 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 you, and you kind of change yourself and you correct yourself. You're right. Well, I asked mom what she felt. I don't think Ranbi should change anything about himself because he's, like I call him Raymond. Raymond means the complete man. He's sensitive. He, he is. Uh, He's everything of what a woman looks for in a man, I think. And which I don't see in very many men around. Men are not sensitive. I don't, and my husband has never seen that side in me. But my, my son sees it all the time. Okay, firstly, I would like to apologize. My mother is really in love with me. So she <laughs> speaks uh, uh, all these mushy things. But uh, uh, most of the things are not true. So some of them are. I know you're so close to your mom. And obviously, you would show it to her. Because as you said, she's the closest person to you in the world. Would you show this kind of sensitivity to a girlfriend? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Definitely. That's why they love him so much. He shows his side to his girlfriends and that's why they love him and that's why they, they get attracted to him. It's very easy to fall in love with Ranbir. Let me tell you that. It's very easy. Sorry again. <laughs> tell me something. How would your mother feel when another woman enters your life? Have you thought about it? Yes, I have. I mean, it takes a lot of courage, you know. When, especially when, uh, when, especially in a mother-son relationship, when they're really close, for some, because when you bring another woman home, uh, it's like you're entering, you're sharing space. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, 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 you're sharing somebody now. Um, so it's tricky, and I think my mother is intelligent. My mother is uh, such a great person. You know, she, she's, she's such a, a good person that, that she'll adapt, and, and she will sacrifice, and she will let me go a little uh, so that, you know, my, the, my other better half can have me. I would love it. I would love when he'll have someone in his life, his, um, his wife. And I'm sure I'm going to adore my uh, daughter-in-law because I want to see my son happy. And if that girl is making my son happy, I would just pamper and I would just spoil her silly. I said, Neetu, children have to go. They have to be able to do without you. The question is, can you do without him? Can I do? I know I can't do without my son, nor can I do without my daughter. But as long as I have that love from them, even if this, it's just a, a phone call, I mean, that's enough for me to be connected. And I'm sure you don't disappoint her. I try not to. I mean, it's uh, as important it is to, for her, it's as important to me, you know, that I stay connected with her. Uh, I'm so dependent on her and everything. You know, she, till I think two years back, she still used to cut my nails. Uh, you know, she makes sure I, if, if I've eaten my food, uh, you know, if I'm having my vegetable juice. I mean, she just takes care of everything. You know, she spoils me really silly where that's concerned. I love that. Yeah. You know, girls, remember this. Check out the way a guy treats his mother. That's the way he will treat you too in the future. So don't be afraid of mama's boys. They make the best husbands. Randy, my advice to you would be that you have to live your life and you have to live your life with that person and your soulmate. You have to be very careful because that person is going to be the mother of your children. Remember that great grandfather would be Raj Kapoor, my grandson. So it's up to you to choose. There are two kinds of girls. One who comes with scissors and one who comes with a needle. Scissors is the one who breaks the family and she kind of mends the family together. She makes sure the family is together. And that's the girl I would like. As for the girl Ranbir will marry, 
I wonder, does he know her already? Or are they yet to meet? Who could she be? If you want to find out, then come right back after this micro break. Are you a possessive boyfriend? I'm very possessive inside. It's like burning me and I'm, I'm filled with jealousy. <laughs> what is right? What is wrong? Uh, you know, you could be attracted to somebody while being in a committed relationship. Renault Blue House presents Semi Selects India's Most Desirable, co presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Renault Fluos presents Semi Selects India's Most Desirable, co presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. I knew you'd be back. <laughs> but first, welcome to Personality Cafe. Let me just explain Personality Cafe. You know, well, it's a cafe with a la carte items on the menu, but not the mundane food and drinks. The items on our menu are fun and games. And through them, we get to see aspects of the personality of our most desirable man. You'd like to look into the future? Yes. OK, then I have just a thing for you. Let's bring on the tarot. May I introduce, uh, this is Manisha yes, Katwani, course, this is Ranveer. Nice you know you each again. other? Yes. You've done the tarot before? Uh, no, I haven't actually, it's the first time. Okay, come and sit down okay. and I shall be your moral support. Yes, Absolutely. Please. Okay. Do you have any nice questions you want to ask? Uh, no, I, but can you ask from my side? I can gladly okay. ask from your side. <laughs> so I want you to just shuffle the cards first. Okay. Not too good at it, but I'll try. Yeah. And I want you to pull seven cards with your left hand, please. Okay, so the good news is you've not met her yet. Oh. We are going to marry. Oh. Or you might have met See? her briefly, okay. but you don't know her very intensely yet. Okay. Queen of Cups, okay. which means the sort of person that you're going to marry. She's going to be a very emotional, loving person. She would have her own career, but I can't guarantee you she'll be from this industry. So marriage is not very, very late. Um, maybe another two to two and a half years from now. There is a bit of a wait. And uh, we're going to see like what sort of person she's going to be and stuff. But I'll only be able to see that from the lover's tarot. Okay. So I want you to pull three cards from here. Every tarot has a different emotion? Yes. One. So you've got balance, okay. which means the person and the relationship you're going to be in, it's going to be very balanced. She's going to understand your line of work very well. And there's going to be a lot of friendship between the two of you because you are the sort of person who needs to be friends with someone before you get into a relationship <laughs> with that person because uh, you can't just rush into something. Uh, second thing is triumph, which means after all, all the negative relationships or maybe whatever negative phases you've gone through, you'll finally triumph with this person and it will land up. <laughs> and you've also got the card of Six of Stars. Now, Six of Stars says victory and success. So the relationship is going to be victorious, successful, and I think she'll help you to rise in your life. Woo! You're a very committed sort of person, contrary to your image. I think you should repeat that. <laughs> You're a very committed sort of person, contrary to your image. Um, it's more to do with where your heart lies, because wherever your heart is, or with whoever your heart is, you're completely committed. I can assure you that. Absolutely true. <laughs> Thank you, Perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thank Can you. we hug it out? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now it's your turn. So we've just uh, got this game, which is called Truth Bucket. Everybody's put their names into this bowl, and all you have to do is pull out the paper, 
read out the name, and that lucky person gets to ask you a question. Great, so but well. if you dodge, if you avoid the question, there's a penalty. Okay. Pranav. Hi, Ranbir, how are you? Hi. You have been in relationships before, uh, so I just wanted to find out, in your opinion, is infidelity mental or physical? Well, that's, that's really a good question. Uh, because what is right, what is wrong? Uh, you know, you could be attracted to somebody while being in a committed relationship. Of course, you don't act upon it, uh, so maybe that's not called infidelity. But yes, physical is completely wrong. You know, if you've given your commitment to somebody, if uh, you've given, if you made a promise to somebody, uh, then you cannot cross a line. There's a certain line that you have to respect. Um, so I think physical, I think it's more physical. Uh, I think it's very natural for a human being to feel attraction towards somebody. Uh, you cannot stop that. Uh, but I wouldn't regard that, as, regard that as infidelity. Thank you. Okay, this is Ritika. Hi. Hi. In, often in relationships, people um, complain about their partners being very possessive. So are you a possessive boyfriend? You know, I'm really possessive, but I don't show it. Uh, oh. it, uh, it bothers me, but I try and be the braver guy and, you know, the bigger person. And I'm like, no, I'm fine, it doesn't bother me. But I'm very possessive. Inside, it's like burning me and I'm, I'm filled <laughs> with jealousy. Okay, <laughs> thank you. It's not bad, huh? So far, no penalties. Very good, very good. Prerna. Hi, ma'am. Hi, Ranveer. Hi. I'm like so excited to talk to you. So am I. Thank you. I love you, Ranveer. I love you, friend. <laughs> Ranveer, just a request. Can I hug you? Yes, of course. I'll come there. <laughs> Namrata. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hi, Ranveer. Hi. Um, I must say, I'm a great fan of yours. Thank you so much. What would you notice when you would first look at a person? Like, say, for example, now you're looking at me. I think uh, confidence, the way she stands, the way she holds the mic, the way she puts her T-shirt down right now, the way she, <laughs> she moves her hair, uh, the way she blushes. I think these are great uh, uh, you know, qualities that you have as a person. Uh, so I'm noticing all these things. And you have a really beautiful smile. You got really expressive eyes. What about her skin? <laughs> yes, lovely her skin. lovely skin. And you have this trait that uh, when, when you're embarrassed, you do this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's really cute. Thank you. You deserve a gift. Come. Thank you. It's a gift? I'm going to give you a personally autographed hamper by Ranbir, and it will only be a further boon to your beautiful and flawless skin. Can I ask a good question as well? Yes! Okay. I know you're a rock star on screen, but I want to see the rock star off screen. Will you please play the guitar for us? Please. Oh. Yeah? Absolutely, I would, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely play the guitar, but I must pre-warn you, hmm. uh, I'm really not good at it, but I will give it a shot. No, I'm sure you'll be great. And guys, you won't want to miss this. Ranbir on his guitar, so come back pronto. Darling, hmm? if you love me, hmm? tattoo my name, na? <laughs> <laughs> Renault Fluos presents Semi Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Renault Fluos presents Semi Selects India's Most Desirable, co presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer.
I'm really not that good at it yet. Uh, but Simiji, I would like to uh, play uh, something small for you, something which is synonymous with uh, uh, with you, and uh, I hope you like it. There are always small landmines. You know, men can be very annoying, and women can be even more annoying sometimes. Makes you almost want to tear your hair. Have you experienced uh, any of these annoying moments? Of course. Uh, I mean, that's part of life. I think when you're constantly questioned, baby, do you love me? You know, yeah. that's that's a little uh, <laughs> like, well, why are you questioning it so much? I think that's that's a bit awkward. Okay. Well, I want to see how you handle this woman. Okay. When we enter the minefield. Imagine this perfect girl. She's awfully sweet. She takes wonderful care of you. But she really asks the questions. By the way, her name is Kiki. 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 So she always does Kiki Kiki. Because she does Kiki <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> okay, that's right. After one date, the first date, she says, What do I mean to you? Uh Kiki, baby, you mean everything to me. You mean uh, more than uh, the food we had. You mean more than the moonlight out there. And you mean more than... Meena means to mean. Wow! I like... The stunning Katrina Kaif is standing just two feet away. And Kiki says... You think she's hotter than I am? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love you, Ranbir, she says. <laughs> Kiki says, Why does your dog keep barking at me after all these months? He's so jealous of you, baby. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. Love you, Ranbir. Anything for you. <laughs> Kiki says, I don't understand. You just charged your phone. Why does it keep showing battery low? Maybe because I'm only seeing your pictures on my phone, and if I keep opening those pictures, the battery dies out. Too cool, man. <laughs> Kiki says, It was awful what you did last night. But I did it for you. You were all over that girl for me? You know, what was she trying to do? But which girl? Which one? A sin. She's a sin. Let her be a sin. You know, she's just a sin. Uh, the... Come on, I'm in the doghouse with Kiki, yeah? One sec. Baby, and it, it actually wasn't a sin. It was uh, 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 Ajit. His name was actually Ajit, and it was uh, uh, it was a guy with a moustache. Asim doesn't have a moustache. She's such a you know she's a pretty girl. Oh, why were you boying him then? <laughs> oh well, you know uh, he's from the military. <laughs> Kiki says, "Darling, hmm? if you love me, hmm? tattoo my name, na." <laughs> <laughs> Tattoo your name on my body? Yes. But you know what they say? Hmm. Is that if the needle was used before by somebody else, I could get AIDS, baby. And then how will we, how will I support our family? How will, what will I do? But listen, look at Saif and all, they all tattoo the na names of their girlfriends. But we are different, no? No, we no, are... no. I want the world to know that I'm Ranbir's girlfriend. I want you to write Kiki. Every day, baby, with felt pen, I'll write on my forehead. Kiki is the love of my life. I you, promise. You'll do that? Of course. Love you, Ranbir. Thank you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> You're watching a Football World Cup final. Lionel Messi has got the ball. He's heading towards the goal. 
It's the match clincher. You are sitting at the edge of your seat. The stadium is jam-packed and it's stone-cold silence. And you're watching and, and Kiki comes up and says, Talk to me now. I did talk to me. Baby, your, 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 your stomach's looking big. Just look in the mirror fast. I did. What is this? I, I don't like all this. I'm going to switch off this TV. Crack. Gone. See? Gone. I think, uh, I think we need to talk. I said now, nah, talk to me. Yeah, I think now we really need to talk. Talk about what, That darling? was the World Cup final. Yeah. My favourite player, Messi, is going to shoot a goal uh -huh. and you switched off the TV. Huh? Do you understand what you did? I'm, 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 I, have, I have high blood pressure. Uh, can you quickly get me a glass of water fast? Quickly. I'll get you a glass of water. But there's no TV. How will you watch? It's all dark. I'll put on the TV, darling. Only because I love you. Okay, baby. See? Thank you, baby. Now, you can go and get me a but glass of water. But the match is over. <laughs> but, I have Tata Sky Plus and I paused it. <laughs> oh, you are so brilliant. You know, you can handle any girl. I honestly can't. This is all play acting, so please. <laughs> no, you are so brilliant. If you're out there watching this, I cannot handle it. You go up so many notches <laughs> up in the desirability. Factor, the desirability ladder, don't you think, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you so much. So, all of you, each one of you, come right back. Ranbir and I will wait for you. Renault Fluos presents Semi Selects India's Most Desirable, co presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Renault Fluence presents Simi Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. So happy you're back. Aren't you glad they're back? Absolutely. Yeah? Because I want them now to see another skill. I mean, you've, they've seen you on the guitar, they've seen you handle Kiki, but I want to show them your skill as an artist. Okay. So, um, if you could just make a self-portrait We'll auction it on the net okay. and all the proceeds will go to charity and a lot of people will benefit from that. Okay. So will you come with me? Yes, absolutely. Okay. You got a marker? Yeah. You can take all the colours. Wonderful. I mean, I would love to own this. Okay, if you want to own this Ranbir by Ranbir, please visit our site www.starworld.in slash SSIMD and start bidding. I think you want to name your charity that you'd like yes, to Yes, uh, I actually work for this charity which works for uh, the empowerment of the girl's child. I would like to, for it to go to the Mijwan Welfare Society. Absolutely. We'll ensure that it does. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank Ranbir's mom said, it's very easy to fall in love with Ranbir. Was she right? Yes! Is he smart, sensitive and sexy? Yes! Do you love him even more? Yes! Than before? Yes! 
Ranbir, you already have our hearts in your hands. But I want to give you something else that will remind you of the love we have for you and the way we feel about you. And I hope you'll keep it forever. Thank you. India's most inspiring. <laughs> One girl at a time and for oh, forever. What lies? I love you, Ranveer. I love you, friend. Sudhartha, <laughs> <laughs> Malia, what can you tell us about him that people probably don't know? I think you know him more than I do. Yeah, but I'm not in a relationship with him. <laughs> <laughs> Had you ever said just friends when you were clearly in a love relationship? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs>